Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video, and um, thank you guys for subscribing and being part of the, the community here. Um, I just wanted to just go in and just um, talk about how the market been the last couple of weeks, the last three weeks actually since 2022. It has not been a good year so far. Um, market is correcting hard I and mean, I think it's it's overdone right and um, it's been tough it's been tough it's been tough for me and a lot of the stocks that I hold but this is a perfect opportunity to pick up some great stocks at low prices that you have strong and long-term conviction of but I'm still buying the spy I'm still buying the TQQ I'm still buying the um, the Dow Jones Industrials because I feel like long term, many years from now, we'll be at higher levels than we are now. So just take a chance to buy when everyone is fearful and just kind of have a, a long term plan, a long plan, a long term outlook. So I mean, it's tough to see your portfolio down 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. But you have to hang in there. Go. This is the time to go back and evaluate the stocks that you have, and see, hey, is this worth holding? Is this a great company? Like, are they making money? Or what's the long-term outlook for this particular stock? Right. Um, and make some changes. Right. Um, but I'm still buying the big index, so S&P 500, which is the spy. Um, I'm still buying that. I'm accumulating that. No matter what, I'm, I'm going to continue to buy this because I have a long-term outlook on it. And then the NASDAQ, which is the TQQ, I will continue to buy this as well. Um, but it's been hit the hardest, right? Because it went up the hardest. So the high flyers are going to get smoked the fastest, right? We're down 10% in one month. And we're currently down 15% from all time highs, right? This is a, a big correction. If it hits 20%, which is a lot of people are predicting, the experts are predicting, um, will be considered a bear market. But I'm accumulating this as well because I feel like tech is definitely the future. A lot of people are scared to own any tech names right now due to high valuations and how rates are gonna affect that when feds raise rates. Um, less capital flowing around less liquidity out there in the market and it's going to cause these tech stocks to slow down as far as their future growth right and um revenues so that being said guys just continue to stay invested i i, I know it's really tough it's tough for me too um i just have a long-term outlook about everything and um i gotta see the big you gotta see the bigger picture right so I'm going to continue to accumulate some of these names, right? Let's take a look at the Dow Jones real quick. Down to, but I'm going to continue to accumulate some of these names. Guys, I'm a holder of Square and I bought this company at 150 and above over, over a year ago. We're sitting at 116. It's, it's ridiculous it's to know that I was up almost 100% on this play and I'm down on it, right? But this is a company I have strong convictions in. And if I loved it at 150, if I liked it at 150, I gotta love it at 116, right? As long as they keep reporting well, they're growing, revenue's going up. Every time they report, let's look at their balance sheet. Let's look at all these major components about the company. It may be a terrible stock at the moment, but it's a great company. And that's the time to pounce guys and, and take advantage of these um, downturns. So another company is, is Snap. I'm, 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 I got my eyes on that one to see if I'm able to scoop some, some shares, but don't put everything in right now, guys. Just nibble, just nibble in slowly, right? And then once everything flattens out, and the correction is finally over and we can start moving upwards and we should be fine. But just think about this though. Millionaires are in this market, billionaires are in this market and everyone is losing money right now, right? 
So you got to stay calm. Warren Buffett got a quote that says, be greedy when everyone is fearful and be fearful when everyone is greedy. Right? So now is the time to be greedy, but you want to be smart with it, right? You want to allocate cash slowly, slowly over time until the market gets better. Because I guarantee you guys, this is not going to last forever. We're going to be higher in the next few years or maybe next year or maybe at the end of the year, the market will be higher, right? So every crash has recovered 100% of the time because otherwise markets wouldn't be here today, right? So let's just be strategic, be smart. This is the message I got for everyone who's following the channel, who's looking at the portfolio and kind of down, depressed, and dark days don't last forever. And we're all going to get through this. And we're going to be investors, long-term investors. We're going to come out the corner. We're going to be better investors from this. We're going to be smarter. We're going to be more strategic going forward. So let's all keep our head up and continue to invest, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.